Next one is the, the evaporation triangle. One third, one third, one third. Jean Carl's method, yeah, for a perfume. How about if we were doing a shampoo? Sorry? You wouldn't want it to last a day. Want yeah, so you would, because especially if you're trying to sell conditioner as well. Yeah? And you probably wouldn't want too much top note because it would be like in warm water or something. It would be like choking. So you'd end up with something like that. How about hair conditioner? More, you want it to last longer, yeah, yeah. More like that. Air freshener. More top note. Something like if it's a liquid air freshener. If it were a paper air freshener, so that would be liquid. Like, uh, I always get this wrong magic tree. Like a magic tree. Do you know what I mean by a magic tree? Little paper things that look like uh, Christmas trees, you know? And they, they're air fresheners. Yeah. Yeah. So here, because the paper is going to evaporate very, very quickly, we want a, only a tiny amount of top note and a little bit of middle note, but mostly bottom note. So each time you're asking what's the basic nature of the product, yeah, and this is something where I like the uh, the triangle for to to imagine how the balance of materials. Some of you made perfumes, and I I told you maybe the top note and the the middle note were fine, but they were just out of balance. There was just too much top note, or there was just too much middle middle and bottom notes. So you just need to take all the top notes and then reduce them, yeah, by a third, yeah, and that would like solve the problem. So that's one way to look at your perfume to get it back into balance, yeah, to see if all those notes come together. So if you get this this uh, this feeling that there's a hole in your perfume, yeah, maybe all you need to do is to expand the middle notes, yeah, times them all by 1.2. So you had 10 drops used, you put 12 drops in. You had 20 drops used, you put 24 drops in. Yeah? And that sort of fills it back out again. Any other products anybody wants to me to look at? Next week we look at more products than this. Bath salts, yeah, bath salts. Bath salts. Would we want a lot of top note? Probably not, because if you have too much top note, it goes into hot water, usually. So if it's hot, then you get this big rush. Yeah. So you only need a small amount of top note. Is that a big Sorry? A big oh, I'll come up. Yeah. Let's do the bath salts first. Yeah. And then you've got the middle notes, and then a little bit of. You are, all the time you're asking about the, the basic nature of the, the product, how it's used, yeah, what it will do. The hot water will make it 
yeah, come up. So you imagine if you did want to do a, a mint shampoo, yeah, you've got to be so careful with the mint note because you overdo it slightly, and then people put it on their hair and <laughs> they can't see. Yeah. <laughs> Antiperspirant. How do you use it? Would it spray or spray or roll on? Sorry? Yeah. Be slightly different. This will be spray. Roll on. This will be more like that. Yeah, for your antiperspirant. But for your spray you want slightly less top note. And that will be about the same. Because you're spraying, you're going to get a, a lot of the top note in the air. Yeah, So you want to control it so you don't get too much. Yeah. Um, I, I was looking after more like a, a balance between those two. So it's more my drawing than anything. <laughs> okay, so I'll put those in balance. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry? Sorry? Mosquito spray. Because the function, it depends on the, it's not so much for the smell. I, I would treat it much more like an air freshener, I think. Yeah. Oh, sorry, no, no, for a spray. Uh, yeah. Less, less, slightly less top note. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So if you make it more top note, then the smell goes away, so they think it's gone, so they put more on. Yeah, that's <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it may, maybe, maybe. I mean, uh, yeah. That makes me a bit sad about 